Hi, I'm Janice. Welcome to President's Day, and we're here at the Kennedy Library's newest temporary exhibit, First Children, Caroline and John Jr. in the Kennedy White House. And this exhibit looks at how the public were fascinated by President Kennedy's family, and especially his kids, and how the news media helped to feed that fascination in things like newspaper articles, uh, magazine spreads, TV footage, the public felt that they came to know this family and Kennedy as a family man. So that helped create an image of the president that um, people could understand and identify with. The exhibit runs through January 8th, 2023. Check our website for our hours and we hope to see you here. Hi, we're in the section of the exhibit that talks about the White House School. You probably didn't realize there had been a White House School, but consider the ages that the Kennedy kids were when they came into the White House. John Jr. was just a little baby, Caroline was a toddler, and Mrs. Kennedy wanted to create an environment that was close as possible to you know what everyday kids might experience but they needed to she wanted them protected so the school was created in the white house and children of friends of the kennedys were invited to become part of that school so here you see them here's their school picture just like you know the school pictures that we had done including embarrassing moments like the kid picking her nose so i think we can all relate to that but mrs kennedy actually this wasn't the first time there was a white house school um president grover cleveland in the late 19th century his wife frances also created a white house school for her little girls who were you know, similar in age to the Kennedy children. And again, it was to allow them to have um, an experience where they could be with kids their own age, but under the protection of the White House. Now, when the school was created, there was a lot of press attention given to it. And the reporter's most common question was, is the White House School going to be integrated? And think of the time that um, the school was, was established. This is in the early 1960s, in the midst of the Civil Rights Movement. And school integration was a big issue at the time. And President Kennedy was always being asked, you know, how he, well, what, was, what were his views on, on uh, desegregation? So the natural question from people was either, you know, the people who didn't want to see um, their the schools uh, desegregated was, well, you know, why aren't you sending your children to an integrated school? And others, you know, would say, you know, this would be a great example to people if you integrated the White House school. And that is what the president did. Uh, he and his wife uh, invited the president's assistant press secretary, An Andrew Hatcher, invited his son Avery to be a student in the school. And um, so Avery's relationship to the president was a little different than the other kids. You have um, three drawings here that I think show this. This one is the one by Avery. And remember, his, his dad was, was a press secretary. So unlike this little boy who showed President Kennedy and with the family and with the nanny, uh, there's one that we have that's not on exhibit that shows a dog too, uh, and um, showing them taking a walk because that's how they kind of knew the Kennedys. But Avery, you know, the president was his father's boss. So Avery shows the president giving a speech at a press conference with all these little stick people, you know, representing reporters. There's a podium and the president's standing at it. And Avery's father is over to the right of the podium. And they're the only stick figures that actually have faces. 
These portraits were made um, as part of a White House school assignment, and it was called Portraits of the President, it was given to President Kennedy um, during one of the school programs. You see here, um, this was the Fun and Dance program. Mrs. Kennedy included, uh, besides the, the usual things you would expect a school to cover, like English and, and math, uh, she was a patron of the arts, so she wanted her children to, and the students, to learn uh, actually foreign languages, to learn dance, to learn painting. So there were recitals that were done by the kids, and this is a picture, uh, Caroline Kennedy's in the center, of the kids doing uh, what would be the hot cross buns number um, during this uh, recital performance. In other ways, the school, you know, these pictures of the reading group and a Halloween party are all things that, you know, we can relate to from our own childhoods and that, um, you know, I think kids still, you know, can relate to today. And you'll see this is Mrs. Grimes, uh, Miss Grimes, she wasn't a Mrs., but a Miss Grimes, one of the two White House school teachers. And here is uh, a portrait that Caroline Kennedy made of Miss Grimes, um, an example of um, you know, the artwork that the kids did. It's a little more sophisticated than the stick figures. <laughs> well, uh, so we hope that you can visit the exhibit. There's a lot more to see. We have dolls, uh, games, photos, I mean, all kinds of things that you'll be interested in. And you'll learn more about the story of the kids and, uh, and what it was like to be a kid in the White House in the early 1960s. So we hope to see you.